Hello students, welcome back to my class. So, in this class we are going to continue the B reading of the class 4th, B reading of the 5th unit which is of the class 4th. So, the name of the B reading is the traveling traveling, okay. It is a kind of a poem. So, let us read out the poem, uh, poem and then we will go into the summary. Row, row, row your boat gently around the lake. Traveling, traveling on the water, boats are what you take. So, this stanza is talking about your boat gently round the lake. So, the boats usually what we can say flow into the lakes. Traveling, traveling on the water, boats are what you take. So, this is a kind of a transport which always what we can say flow on the water. So, the first traveling was based on the Boat. So, what is the transport that means of transport that they have used for traveling is the boat which is always flows on the water. Yes, we are familiar with this. So, the next stanza let us do that. Drive, drive, drive your car, have a merry cruise. Traveling, traveling on the road, cars are what you use. So, so the next stanza is talking about the cars. So, my dear students, information that requires any inter what we can say explanation where the cars used to drive. So, where the cars are driving, cars kahan pe chalti hai. So, where the cars are going, yes. So, basically cars are going to be drive on the roads. Yes, drive your car at the on the road, have a merry, have a merry cruise, traveling, traveling on the roads, cars are what you use. So, let us see what the third stanza is about. Fly, fly, fly your plane, high up in the air. So, the third means of transportation they are using is the plane for traveling. So, where the plane is used to fly, always the plane is flying in the air. High up in the air, traveling, traveling through the sky, plane will get you there. So, boats will flow into the water, cars are going to be drive on the roads and planes are going to fly in the air. So, the next stanza is about the train. So, where the trains are going to run, the trains are going to run on the rails. Chuck, chuck, chuck your train, chuck along the track. So, the next stanza is talking about the train. Trains are going to run on the what we can say tracks, railway track, yes. Traveling, traveling on the rails, trains go there and back. So, these traveling, traveling. So, what are the different modes of transportation uh, the people used for traveling? So, that this poem is telling us about. People may be traveling from the boat which is going to flow in the water. People can use the carts for traveling which are going to be ride on the roads. People can use the plane to fly uh, what we can say to travel in the plane which is going to be fly in the sky train. So, most of the passengers can travel by the train which is going to run on the railway tracks. So, let us see the fifth stanza. Stamp, stamp, stamp your feet, stamp them on the ground. Traveling, traveling on your feet, walk to get around. So, the last stanza is talking about traveling on the ground. You can also travel on the ground by walking on the roads, walking get around. So, stamp, stamp means walking on your feet, stamp, stamp your feet, stamp them on the ground, traveling can be done on your feet. Yes, stamp, stamp on the ground which is nothing but stamp, stamp with your feet on the ground. Yes, on the floor. We can walk on the floor, we can go anywhere, we can travel anywhere just by walking also, traveling on your feet, walk to get around. So, these are all the different means of transportation you can use for 
traveling traveling so this is the summary of the poem i hope it is clear to everyone so how different different people can use the different means of transportation for their traveling they can go they can use boat cars plane train stamp stamp is nothing but they can use their own feet and walk to travel a particular place anything they can use means of transportation yes so in this way we have come to know that the traveling can be done with all these means of transportation yes i hope it is clear to everyone in this way we have completed the fifth unit in the previous classes i have completed the lesson story and the vocabulary and grammar part also in today's class we have completed the b reading which is nothing but the poem in the next class we are going to start the new lesson with new interesting facts and stories till then revise these chapters and poem and read the new means of transportation and learn it and till then take care of yourself thank you